About the same time, one group plans to voice their opinions about a Dollar General that could come to West Macon. As Abby Casaurus tells us, not only are they planting signs, but also making a stop at City Hall. Greg Aiken takes pride in his home. He says he moved here with his wife for a taste of rural life. It's our, it's our country setting. Egan says a proposed Dollar General across the street, right off the roundabout, would end his slice of countryside paradise. There hasn't been any crime out in that area, this area. Yeah, because we don't have a place. So one robbery out here when they put that place in is an increase of 100%. He adds there's a family dollar three miles away. You know, Sell it to somebody, let them build a house there. We don't need a commercial property there. He joined a group opposing the Dollar General. They put up signs like these in their yards. <laughs> and at the last planning and zoning meeting, the group crowded the boardroom, booing the group's lawyer. When the plans got deferred yet again because they needed to finalize plans with an engineer. Because planning and zoning has deferred their decision so many times, Monday's meeting will be here at Megan Bibbs Government Center. Egan says he's already taken off work. If this does go through, I hope nobody in this area even goes to it. Uh, I, I will boycott it. I, you know, I won't go there. In fact, I might hand out dollar bills to people and say go up the road for a dollar. This time, the board will vote to either approve or disapprove of the plan. Egan says if they decide to approve it, he'll make another decision to move. In making Abby Casora's 13 WMAZ News. Right, well, well, the meeting is happening at 1:30 at the Government Center on Poplar Street.